hello pretty people welcome to the channel i mentioned in a recent video that i got invisalign so i thought maybe i would just chronicle my invisalign journey as i go through i just finished my first week of invisalign um <laughs> many things uh, i didn't expect <laughs> We'll get into it in a sec. But I just wanted to do a really quick overview about why I got Invisalign, where I got my Invisalign, the cost, things like that really quickly before I just explain kind of what the first week is like when you first get Invisalign. Because honestly, I wasn't expecting it to go like it did in any way, shape, or form. It's definitely been a learning curve. Some things are worse than I thought. Some things, mm, I don't know if things are better than I thought. Honestly, I think maybe things are only worse than I thought. Let's just get into it. I'll explain that all throughout the video. Just really quick, I will explain why I got Invisalign. I didn't just get Invisalign for aesthetic reasons. I feel like this is kind of like a nose job where people are like, oh, I didn't get it for aesthetic reasons. Like I had a deviated septum. And then like me, it's gonna like make excuses for why I got Invisalign. But honestly, I have really problematic teeth. I have been grinding my teeth apparently since like early college. And at some point in college, I noticed that my teeth were quite literally wearing away at the gum line. If I turned my head sideways and like looked in the mirror, I literally could see like my tooth and it would go in like concave by my gum line. It was literally wearing away, which was honestly downright terrifying to discover at the time i don't even know if i was 20 years old yet like i might have been 19 years old or something and i was looking in the mirror like where are my teeth going like what's happening and i had so much anxiety about it because at the time i was extremely poor i couldn't afford any dental work at all i literally could only afford like my two teeth cleanings a year and that was literally it and i was honestly just so anxious about what was going on that i was too afraid to go to a dentist in case it was like the worst case scenario i thought i was gonna go and they were gonna be like you need denters like now which was not the case um i didn't realize how you know a lot of people get cosmetic work done on their teeth pretty early in life i just honestly didn't know that but i do think i have like pretty problematic teeth compared to most people my age. The first dentist I went to when I discovered the problem literally told me I had the most tooth wear that he'd ever seen for someone my age. And that literally gave me so much anxiety. I can't even explain to you how anxious I was. He referred me to an orthodontist and I was told by the orthodontist that I would need to get braces, which I was like, absolutely not. I am not getting adult braces, it's not happening, which no shame to anybody that has adult braces. I'm just super vain and for whatever reason, I always think everybody judges me and I was just like, I'm not getting adult braces, I'm not doing it. At the time, I couldn't even afford it anyway, so I kind of left the appointment and just like never thought about my teeth again. Fast forward, graduated college, moved to California, got like a real full-time job, which had like a pretty nice dental insurance package, whatever you want to call it. And immediately I started getting my teeth fixed. First, I got composite bonds, which is basically covered the divots in my teeth where they were wearing away. So now it looks like I have normal teeth. And then my dentist seriously recommended getting Invisalign or braces because I grind my teeth so badly. Wait, did I explain that already? Yeah, the reason my teeth were wearing away is because I grind my teeth so badly in the middle of the night apparently that my teeth are wearing away. The other issue with my teeth is apparently they go like in. Most people's teeth go like out. Like if you like kind of look sideways, mine literally like go in. Your teeth are supposed to like go out a little bit and all my teeth are like kind of cramped going in and apparently that makes the grinding wearing away of the teeth even worse so yeah everybody was recommending that i get invisalign and braces for a while i was wearing a night guard slash retainer at night to help with the issue and then when i could afford it when i got my nicer dental insurance i decided that i would get invisalign i don't think i ever would have gotten invisalign only for aesthetics because my teeth are actually pretty straight my bottom teeth are a little crooked but otherwise like i have pretty straight teeth but i guess i could say partially i'm getting in this line because i do feel like my teeth will look like slightly better but honestly i really don't have an issue with the way that my teeth look right now 
the orthodontist that I go to is Massey. It's Massey Orthodontics in Glendale, California. I live in Los Feliz, which is really close to Glendale. So that's why I went there. She also had really great reviews online. And when I went to the office, like everyone was really nice and I felt like really comfortable. So far, I have absolutely no issues with my orthodontist. I really like the office. I haven't had any issues so far. And right off the bat, she did tell me that I'll probably be wearing Invisalign for a year and a half, give or take. It kind of depends how good you are with wearing your trays because obviously you can take them in and out and you're only supposed to not wear them for like two to four hours a day. Like within a 24 hour period, you're supposed to wear them from 20 to 22 hours a day. So if you take your trays out a lot, obviously it'll slow down the process. And total, my Invisalign cost $5,500 somewhere around there, which obviously is so expensive, but my insurance paid for 2000 of it. And then for whatever reason, she had some sort of like Invisalign day where you would get $500 off your Invisalign treatment if you went on one specific day. At the time, I already knew I was getting Invisalign, but I had to wait to get my wisdom teeth out. That's a whole nother thing I didn't talk about. I had to get my wisdom teeth out before I got Invisalign because apparently if you leave them in, they can shift your teeth and like ruin all the work that your Invisalign does. So everybody highly recommended that I get my wisdom teeth out. For a while, I was like, this is a scam. This is just like a money ploy, part of like the medical industry where they're just getting money from all of us. And then when I actually like really sat down, I think I was even looking at like a Reddit page and everyone was like, yeah, I didn't get my wisdom teeth out because I thought, why? And then all of a sudden my wisdom teeth were absolutely killing me, hurting so bad. And then eventually most people do have to get them out when they're older. So I was like, I'm just gonna get it over with and get my wisdom teeth out. Pretty soon after I got my wisdom teeth out, I got the text saying, oh, we're having Invisalign day, blah, 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 blah. So I did go in on that day and got $500 off my treatment. So that brought me down to $3,000. And my particular orthodontist has like a payment plan. So now I'm paying down the rest of the $3,000 on a monthly payment plan. I'm pretty sure it's like $118 a month or somewhere in that range. Now going into this first week of Invisalign, starting with the very first day, that day was brutal brutal and let me tell you why so obviously going into it i knew that you had to get these attachments on your teeth which basically they like i don't even know how to explain it kind of like if you go to a dentist and they like put a filling like fake tooth on your teeth they put like a little bump right on top of your tooth and in the invisalign trays there's like little bubbles that stick out where the bump on your tooth like sits inside. Basically your teeth can't move unless there's like some friction. So you have to have the tray and then the bump on your teeth so like it can help move it, I guess. I don't know, I'm not a scientist, I can't explain this. I obviously knew that that was gonna happen. She told me beforehand, you're gonna get your attachments when you get your trays, blah, blah, blah. But when I first got my attachments on and first put my Invisalign trays in, I was like shook. I looked in the mirror and I was like, Oh my god, I look insane. I look ridiculous. I thought Invisalign were supposed to be incognito. Braces are the ones that are really obvious. And I was like, Invisalign, like no one will even notice. Oh, trust me. Trust me, that is not the case. <laughs> they don't look nice. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I still hate the way they look. I think as the past week has gone on, I've gotten more used to it and I feel like less ugly and weird wearing them. But the first few days were brutal. I honestly almost started crying every day because I just felt so ugly and stupid and I just really hated the way that it looked. So that definitely was worse than I was expecting. I knew they weren't gonna look like super, super incognito hidden, but I didn't realize how obvious it would be at the same time which really um, affected my confidence for a few days, I will say. The other thing that I wasn't really expecting was the lisp. I asked my orthodontist like how long it would take for the lisp to go away because when you first get them in, you're like kind of learning how to talk with them in your mouth. And she told me it would go away in like a day or two. No, that's not true. I've had my trays in for a full week now and today I had a big presentation at work. And let me tell you, I knew I was talking with the lisp. There's no way my lisp is gone yet. I'm still getting used to talking in them. And that was also kind of like a confidence thing to get over, mostly at work because I was 
so aware it's like one day you go and work and you talk normal and your teeth look normal and the next day you go in and your teeth look fucked up and you can't even talk normally not to say that a lisp is like a bad thing by any means i'm just saying it feels like awkward and kind of embarrassing when you talk one way and then you show up at work one day and you like can't talk normally anymore and then they know it's because you are trying to get used to this new thing in your mouth i very much felt like a middle schooler i just felt embarrassed you guys it's just not cute it's not fun i just constantly felt like i don't know i just i hated it the other thing that sucks is eating slash drinking when my orthodontist told me we're not supposed to drink coffee with your trays in immediately i was like sorry that's not that's not a possibility ma'am like i will be drinking coffee i don't know what to tell you it's there's no way i'm cutting coffee out of my diet i work an eight to five i cannot be bothered by that but she did tell me if you have to drink coffee to drink it out of a straw yeah I have to drink coffee, okay? And it's not like a, oh, every once in a while, I'll let myself drink coffee with a straw with my Invisalign trays in. No, I drink coffee every single day. I think the issue is like coffee can stain your trays and it also can get stuck in your trays and like probably cause bacteria and stuff, which you really only wear your trays for two weeks and then you're already onto your next set of trays. So I'm like, I don't think the coffee's really gonna stain my trays in two weeks. And even if it does a little bit, it's fine, I'll survive. As far as like the whole, cleanliness bacteria part goes. I take these suckers out so many times throughout the day. You have to take them out every single time you eat. And then every time you take them out and eat, you have to brush your teeth before you put them back in because otherwise you're gonna have like food and stuff sitting in your teeth with your trays and like that's disgusting. So already I'm like brushing my teeth way more than I ever have in my entire life. Probably four or five times a day at least. And I also clean my trays every time I take them out and put them back in. So I mean, I get it. I feel like there's probably some people watching this like you're disgusting, stop drinking coffee while you're wearing your trays sorry i really don't care and i cannot be bothered but that kind of leads me into the food aspect something that was worse than i expected is i just don't think i realized how much we as humans eat maybe it's just me snacking even if my boyfriend like makes some food and then he's like oh do you want to try it like before i would always be like yeah of course i'll try it or if you want to watch a movie and like snack on popcorn while you're watching the movie you can't really do that because you can't have your trays out for very long and you have to like leave a lot of times throughout the day to eat your meals every time you take it out you don't want to take it out for too long because you're already thinking well what if i want to snack later and then i'm gonna have to take them out again and now i'm just increasing the time that i'm taking my trays out when they really should be in my teeth for as much as humanly possible and i just really really hate the fact that i can't just sit and snack and watch a movie and not have to take my trays in and out it's a nightmare i'm not used to it yet it's honestly completely different to how i normally eat i'm not really the kind of person that eats like three big meals a day and barely snacks i'm a snacker i eat small meals i'm a nibbler that's just who i am so it's definitely a huge lifestyle change to have to do that to have to take your trays out every time you want to eat and it's honestly just annoying it's so annoying especially in the beginning when it's a little bit more difficult to take the trays in and out i feel like now i'm already an expert and i can take them out really fast and put them back in really fast but the first few days it was so hard and i was so stressed because i was like oh my god every time i just want to eat a snack i'm going to be sitting here trying to take my trays out for five minutes it was just the most stressful feeling so all of those things i saw them coming but at the same time once it actually happened it was just even worse than I was expecting, especially at work because I work in an office three days out of the week. We're like partially remote, partially in the office. And it's such a hassle in the office. Anytime I wanna eat a snack or eat lunch, I have to go to the bathroom, which isn't very close to my desk. I have to take my trays out in the bathroom, which already I won't do if there's people in there because I'm still too embarrassed. And also like, I don't want anybody to have to witness that. That's just like not a pleasant thing to witness not that i would ever care if someone was taking out their invisalign trays in front of me but it's kind of gross like sometimes when you take it out like your spit will also just kind of spill out as well i'm not doing that in front of people i work in a corporate office i feel like people would already 
see me differently if I was doing all that kind of stuff. So already I have to go to the bathroom, take my trays out, and then if there's someone in there, I'll probably leave and come back or just like kind of sit in there for a while till they leave. Take my trays out, try to wash them as best as I can in my freaking workplace sink. Put them in my little tray case and then I go to my office, eat my food, and then you have to like floss or try to like brush your teeth. But also we don't have like a private bathroom at my workplace. So I also don't want to be sitting there brushing my teeth in the public bathroom. So that's also just been a learning curve to really navigate. There's already so many scenarios that I haven't had to do yet, like go out to eat with friends or go to a movie theater where I just don't even know how I'm going to manage taking my trays in and out. It's just too much, but I haven't really got to that yet. My biggest obstacle has been taking them in and out at work. The other thing that I wanted to mention quickly, which I kind of talked about earlier, is for the trays. So at least with Invisalign, I know there's probably off-brand versions of Invisalign, at least I think there are, but mine is actually Invisalign. You only wear your trays for two weeks each and then you take them out. I think you're supposed to save them and not throw them away just in case your other trays like break or if you lose them or something. But then I have all these other trays for the upcoming weeks slash months. Wow, months is a hard word to say right now. So next week will be my two week anniversary. Um, and then I'll start my next set, wear these for two weeks, start the next one. It's kind of cool to see the difference between the trays because I compared the ones I'm wearing now with the sixth set here. <laughs> Words. And you can kind of see how your teeth shift. The trays look different and I can already tell my teeth are going to be a little bit straighter with the sixth set. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is lying. So it's kind of cool to visualize the progress of your teeth just looking at the last set here, how much different my teeth are going to look. These aren't even my very last set. I'm pretty sure when I'm done with these, I'll be going back to my orthodontist and then they're going to give me my next set of trays. Well, I think that's it, you guys. That's the struggles I've been having. I feel like now that a full week's done, I'm starting to finally not hate them, and they're just kind of becoming a normal part of my day-to-day -day life. But if you are planning on getting Invisalign, or if you're getting Invisalign soon, I would just say be prepared for the first few days. Just not being very pleased with the experience. The other thing that I forgot to mention is they hurt, okay? I think the last two or three days, my teeth finally stopped hurting, but for a few days, my teeth were extremely sore. I would say at least the first four, maybe five days. It actually hurt to eat, especially any crunchy food. It was physically painful to eat. So be prepared for that. Maybe take some ibuprofen or something because it was an unpleasant experience. And it all just kind of adds up in the start because first, your teeth hurt. Second, you feel ugly. You already can't talk normally. You have, all of a sudden have a lisp that you've never had before in your entire life. And then you're adjusting to a new eating habit, new eating patterns. All of it right away is super overwhelming. And I personally, I was not doing well the first few days. Okay, officially, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was even slightly helpful or informative. I'll probably do an update in a couple weeks, maybe every month or every couple months. I'm not really sure. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and definitely follow my channel if you want to stick around for the rest of my Invisalign journey. Have a wonderful, blessed day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh,